Everyday Bible Reading and Reflection The 21st of July, 2020 Tuesday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time A reading from the book of the prophet Micah Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance, that dwells apart in a woodland in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old, as in the days when you came from the land of Egypt, show us wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin for the remnant of his inheritance, who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency, and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt? You will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection Jesus gives us many opportunities for developing relationships with family, friends, neighbors, and co-workers. Why does Jesus seem to ignore his own relatives when they pressed to see him? His love and respect for his mother and his relatives is unquestionable. Jesus never lost an opportunity to teach his disciples a spiritual lesson and truth about the kingdom of God. On this occasion when many gathered to hear Jesus he pointed to another higher reality of relationships, namely our relationship with God and with those who belong to God. What is the essence of being a Christian? It is certainly more than doctrine, precepts and commandments. It is first and foremost a relationship, a relationship of trust, affection, commitment, loyalty, faithfulness, kindness, thoughtfulness, compassion, mercy, helpfulness, encouragement, support, strength, protection, and so many other qualities that bind persons together in mutual love and unity. God offers us the greatest of relationships, union of heart, mind, and spirit with himself, the very author and source of love. God's love never fails, never forgets, never compromises, never lies, never lets us down nor disappoints us. His love is consistent, unwavering, unconditional, and unstoppable. Nothing can deter him from ever leaving us, ignoring us, or treating us unkindly. He will love us no matter what. It is his nature to love. That is why he created us, to be united with him and to share in his love and unity. God is a trinity of persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and a community of love. That is why Jesus challenged his followers, and even his own earthly family, to recognize that God is the true source of all relationships. God wants all of our relationships to be rooted in his love.